Welcome back everybody, I am Guestar Bullet, and we're going to be talking about some 7 days to die today. In this video we're going to be talking about the things that I believe will be coming to the 7 days to die console update that should be hopefully coming in the next year to year and a half. Sounds like a long time, but if you don't want to miss out on any of the things that I'm going to be saying about what I think is going to be coming, make sure you stay to the end of this video. And if you haven't yet, hit that like button and that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other content that I have on this channel. Let's get going. So, first things first. We all know with 7 Days to Die on console, we're way behind in the PC version. That is something that, yes, we all know. But we also did find out recently that 7 Days to Die on console is in progress and it is something that we're going to be getting in the near future. Now, there's been a lot of speculation on what is actually going to be happening, how the game is going to work, if you're going to have to buy a new one, if the old version is going to update, so on and so forth. And all over the internet, all over Reddit and Twitter and Facebook and the forums, they tell you a lot of different things. The question is, what of those things are actually going to be the case and what are we actually going to be getting? What I have to say for you guys today is all speculation and just my thoughts on what the console edition is going to get when it comes to updates. Now, obviously, the PS5 version of 7 Days to Die and the Xbox Series S and X versions of 7 Days to Die will be given the port first. There was some speculation by some people who have left comments on previous videos of mine that the PS4 and Xbox One versions won't be getting an update. I hate to break it to those people who think that that's not happening, but I'm afraid to tell you that it is happening. PS4 and Xbox Ones are getting an update. It'll just be after it gets to the PS5 and Xbox Series S and X. That is something that the Fun Pimps have already stated that it will go to PS4 and Xbox One. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about what we think we're going to be getting. For me, I play on PS4. I'm not on a PS5. It is impossible to get one where I live. I've been trying to get one since they came out, and they have been impossible. You can't get it. It's, you know, it's terrible. I don't know how it is for you Xbox players, because I don't play Xbox myself. I haven't owned an Xbox since the original Xbox came out. But, with the PS4 version, I think what they're going to have to do, once PS5 is done, and they're going to do, because they want to do uh, cross-platform at some point, and it's going to be once the entire thing is done for, you know, PC, PS5, Xbox Series S and X, and then down to PS4 and Xbox One. So, I think what they'll start with for the older generation consoles, the PS4 and the Xbox Ones, is they'll do slow updates, which I think we'll get over, you know, a couple of months at a time, we'll get a new update. Kind of like how it was when Iron Galaxy was doing it, I believe, you know. And again, this is all just my opinion and my speculation on what I think is going to happen. But I think they'll do updates that way to where the game gets updated every couple of months, until the PS4 version and the Xbox One versions have caught up to the PC, PS5, and Xbox Series S and X versions. Now that could take a while. So, with that being said, you know, it's, it's going to be a long road until that happens. But with the PS4 version, with how far it is behind now, Every little tiny update that comes out, people are going to be absolutely going crazy for. And I think the first thing they're going to do, obviously, is they're going to port over um, the new textures to where it's the graphics are better. They're going to upgrade that. Uh, I believe that they're also going to do, you know, the zombie skins, things like that where we're getting the new zombies. I think things like that are going to be the first things that come over in ports. I don't know if they'll port it exactly the way they did with, you know, the PC updates, you know, those alphas. Maybe they'll do it that way. I don't know. 
Um, so like I said, it's all speculation. But I think that would be a smart way to do it, to start with that and then work towards bringing out um, the other the other new things, the new um, animals, the new vehicles, the bikes, the truck thing, and the helicopter bike, whatever that is. All of those things, well, I think, will come out after they do like a, a revitalized facelift on the graphics and things like that. Um, the PS4 version, the Xbox One versions, you know, the consoles themselves, it's going to be hard for them to catch up. They are older, uh, but I do think that they can handle it as long as it's something that is done over time. So, yes, I believe that the PS4 and Xbox One will start getting updates in the next year to year and a half. But I don't think that we will be caught up to the PC version for probably two to two and a half years. Um, and that's, you know, that's my guess on what I think will be done. It is sad to say that I, that it's going to be another two to two and a half years before the console version is caught up with the PC version. But again, even when the console version was getting updated in 2016, 2015, 2017, in those years, you know, we were still way behind the, the PC version. We didn't have electricity, you know, we didn't have any of that stuff yet. We were two to three updates behind all the time anyways. So that's something that, you know, the console players are just going to have to be used to until the game is completely finished on the PC version. But other than that, I think that the best part about the whole situation is just the fact that there was finally news it's it's gonna happen you know and a lot of console players have been waiting and some other ones have completely quit playing the game so that's all i got to say for you guys today thank you for watching hit that like and that subscribe button if you haven't already and i'll catch you next